Oh, Tachibana gets low, a huge Venomous Bite dealing a healthy amount of damage. Again, there is no Flash. Looks like Calvin is trying to go it. The Ignite drops onto Tachibana. Will he survive? He lives with the level up, picking up actually a double kill. That means he has got to have the regeneration passive every time you get a kill. You heal 5% of your current health and mana. Otherwise, Tachibana almost certainly would have died. What an excellent pickup from Tachibana. This is exactly what they did in a previous game, I believe. It was against uh, Crushed Lies, Broken Tears, but Tachibana, instead of going top, went for the bottom. Bulbatier engages on the Noah Trace with a flash forward, dropping Ignite as well for another kill. It is now 0-4. This is very, very typical of TKS Marwa. Calvin blowing the ghost. He wants to pick up the kill on Kanata. Infected Cleaver is going to miss. He's trying to throw down the AoE. He goes down to Tours. Now 5-0. and oh. Hmm. It, it really is very, very typical of TKS's play. They really uh, are reminiscent of that Season 3 World Finals sort of pick a lane, shove out a turret as quickly as possible. But pick the next lane, shove it out, try to keep the jungler on the back foot. And we are seeing that um, Wu Master is doing reasonably well, uh, trying to keep up in farm currently at 15, does have boots, but Wu Master really has to keep up with Tachibana Kanata's rotations around the map. Tachibana has a nasty habit of picking a lane and then shoving it already, has a spirit of the Lizard Elder five and a half minutes into the game. That is a lot of AD on that jungle, Caitlyn. And it is a uh, very impressive. Now, Wu Master catching to tours in the jungle. Takes a resonating strike to the face for his trouble. Calvin trying to come around. Throws a good inflected cleaver. Managing to slow to tours, but to tours jumping away. To tours very, very high mobility. Uh, again, very skilled players for TKS. They seem to know what they're doing. And now we have Titana. Uh, Tachibana Kanata coming in on Wu Master along with Titours, but Titours looks like he may be able to get in range, but the minions aren't in range for the Arpel. And Titours goes down. Oh, in the bottom, Saracen catching a Zenith Blade along with a Shield of Daybreak. Soothsayer actually getting that kill. Currently at 2-0-0 oh, oh, with three Doran's Blades. Nikesh trying to do his best to keep up in lane. He's actually at 25 farm doing reasonably well. But Han Slolo continuing to slowly feed kills into that kill lane. Mm -hmm. uh, if I had to say, I would not be entirely surprised if Soothsayer did anything uh, other than a Magi Soul Stealer. It's been in her build path for every other game outside of the one game in which she was support, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Tachibana, though, continuing to push with Titours. They're now putting pressure on the inhibitor turret in top lane. It's seven and a half minutes into the game, and the inhibitor turret is taking pressure, and whoa, Cocoon missing Tachibana, taking just a touch of damage, and Lee Sin jumping in with Iron Will. Wu Master gets Dragon Rage, forced to repel away, but Tachibana is going to be prepared to pick up the kill. No, repels to the back of the minion. Will he be able to escape to Tours coming around? The minions may even be able to pick up a kill. Tachibana picking up Lee Sin in the meanwhile. Han Solo trying to engage in the bottom lane. Saracen dangerously low. Han Solo not able to get the kill. That is, unfortunately, Lucian dead. Let's see if Soothsayer is going to get the distortion to pick up Han Solo. He is only level four. Very squishy. Solar Flare goes down and Soothsayer picks up the kill with Saracen tanking a turret hit and surviving. Mm -hmm. The inhibitor turret falling again. This is TKS Marwal putting on incredible, incredible pressure. Wu Master doing his best. Oh, even Bulbadier picking up a kill with the Ignite. 
Umaster again doing his best to try to keep up with the absurd aggression from Tachibana and Titors, and he is doing relatively well, but so far the plays have been phenomenal for Titors and Soothsayer. They are just picking up kills left and right, and Lucian actually gets a kill on the Soothsayer, ending that horrifying spree and earning himself a very well-earned 500 gold. And actually, it turns out I was in fact wrong. That was Soothsayer not going for the Magi's Soul Stealer for the first time in this tournament, deviating from the Magi's build, picking up instead the components for Deathfire's Grasp. But it looks like Tachibana has picked his next target, lands a cocoon on the Bulbadier, trying to do damage. Ace in the hole combined with Barrel Roll immediately nukes him down. It looks like Wu Master, he's starting to get a little bit swishy, starting to fall just a little bit behind Tachibana's absurd aggression. And Titor is coming in from behind for a dive, not going to catch up. Barrel roll and Ace in the hole trying to pick up a kill, but Noah Trace gets away. Never mind. Titor's continuing. Wow. He says AFK. There's no way he's actually going to be AFK. Going to shield jump over the wall any second now. Just baiting that out impolitely. Calvin, outside of his own base, goes down to that chat bait. There just goes to show you, do not turn on chat in-game. Cocoon landing on Bulbadier. Woomaster maybe going to follow up with some damage, but no trace. Doesn't have the slicing maelstrom quite yet. Can't follow up with the AoE. Nikesh forced to rotate around the mid. Here comes Han Solo as well, but Saracen and Soothsayer are close on their heels. Nikesh <laughs> dodges the exploding barrel and barrel roll as well. Saracen suddenly caught out of position. Surprisingly tanky, though. Does still have the sight stone and a ruby crystal. She's taking damage. Slicing Maelstrom goes down. Saracen uses the solar flare, catches only Han Solo, who gets nuked down by Soothsayer without even a Deathfire's Grasp. Woo Master now forced to retreat from that red buff Tachibana Kanata and the Spirit of the Lizard Elder, so that is just bleeding away for so much true damage. And the pressure continues from TKS. Oh, Titor's caught out. Ignite dropping him down. Looks like Noah Trace wants to go with the follow-up if he lands. Oh, a great juke out of Titor's butt. And Auto Tech is allowing him to pick up the kill, getting another 500 gold. The gold difference now is only a measly 10,000 in favor of TKS. Not as bad as it was. Cullen going down, trying to clear the minion wave, but Tachibana continuing to try to pressure the turret they want to get that gold lead as much as possible. I really do hope that uh, 904 will be able to pick up a turret off of this counter-aggression now that Titor's has fallen. Soothsayer is just absolutely terrifying right now. Saracen and Tachibana, meanwhile, taking on the dragon. Wound Master is in position. It's might available. Yes, combined with the 90 caliber net to escape. Noah Trace getting a little bit too far forward. Soothsayer does have the distortion. Noah's serial chains goes down quite yet. Ace in the hole doing a healthy amount of damage combined with Bulbadier's explosive cast. And that very scary Noah Trace. But Nikesh and Wound Master forced to retreat from the other side as Soothsayer continues to chase around. And finally, looks like Soothsayer is going to back off and pick off that <laughs> finish up that very scary scary Deathfire Grasp. Mm -hmm. And whoa, Titours managing to dash forward onto Calvin OP. The box, unfortunately, missing as Titours is just a little bit too quick. And Han Solo getting a bit far ahead of himself, taking a barrel to the face for his efforts. is going to have to be careful. Titours now taking some damage from Nikesh. Nikesh doing a healthy amount with that phage, rushing towards a Trinity Force. All in all, a very, very good choice against this very scary Toxivana. And, of course, the Cullen going out, trying to clear the minions. Han Solo getting dangerously low. Soothsayer follows up with a minute, and the Solar Flare catches a Zenith Blade, also managing to catch Nikesh OP. But the rest of TKS is 
is not able to follow up quite yet. Nikesh trying to do some damage to Saracen, but in the meanwhile, the turret goes down. Soothsayer doing a healthy amount of damage. Explosive cask almost burning Calvin. He survives by the skin of his teeth, and this is going to be the mid inhibitor turret flash from Saracen. Ace in the hole onto Noah Trace. It is dodged by Woomaster. That is going to be a Zenith Blade missing as well. The pressure continues as Titours is now following up from behind. Le Bulbadier diving past the inhibitor to try to catch up Nikesh Han Solo. Very, very low. Has to be afraid of it. Soothsayer. Zenith Blade catching Soothsayer picks up another kill without even the DFG off cooldown quite yet. Han Solo trying to bring it down, and the Super Minions are pressuring the Nexus turret. It is 14 and a half minutes into the game. This could be the fastest game to end in this tournament so far as the pressure continues. AoE going down. Han Solo gets low. Zenith Blade catches. Shield of Daybreak picks up the kill. Actually, that was Eclipse, and now Wu Master forced to retreat as the Super Minions continue to bring down the turret. It falls. Tachibana going to try to go for the Nexus as well. That BF Sword combined with the Spirit of the Lizard Elder doing so much. And now Titoris is tanking for the rest of his team to catch. Trying to throw out some damage and repel away. Calvin trying to retreat with that sadism. This is now Wu Master trying to go for the kill. He gets the shutdown, but it doesn't matter. The Nexus is continuing to fall to Bulbadier and Saracen. Noah Trace trying to pick up the kill on Soothsayer. Will he be juked back upon? Yes. Titoris coming back to pick up another double kill. And the Nexus looks like it's going to go down. Han Solo falls as well. Calvin doing what he can, but infected cleavers cannot stop a wave this big. I, yes, yesterday. Absolutely, and once again, thank you ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back in just a minute with game number two between TKS Marwa and 904 Gaming.